What I want you to do now is welcome uh, a man from the Equality Network. We're going to have a, a speech here from, to, to really, I don't know what, what you're going to say actually. You didn't warn me, you didn't let me see it. But I think we should warmly welcome Scott from the Equality Network. Thank you everybody. Um, I don't know how you quite follow uh, some of the amazing acts that we've got today. I'm going to be a bit more dry, I've got no comedy for you. But my name is Scott Cuthbertson, I'm from the Equality Network which is Scotland's LGBT rights charity. Uh, we work for equality and human rights in Scotland. And we're also at the moment working with the Russian LGBT network on supporting them and helping them to fight against uh, what they're facing in Russia. Uh, I want to thank Mark uh, for organising today's event, for hosting today's event. Big whoop for that. <laughs> I think it's an absolutely amazing turnout and it shows that we all really care about what's going on in Russia. I also want to thank Stephen and Su Susan, Joe, Dana and Chris for giving up their time today. <laughs> now I make it there's about 300 of you here today. Um, if we were in Russia right now, there would, there would also be police uh, surrounding us but they wouldn't be here to support us, they wouldn't be here to protect us, they'd be here to forcefully break down what we're doing, they would have barricades up, and there would probably be some uh, right-wing fascists in the corner ready to come plunging into the crowd, as we saw in St. Petersburg and in Moscow. And when they do that, the police don't arrest them, they don't tell them to stop what they're doing, they they support them. They watch idly as people are beaten up and people are punished. By coming to an event like, th like this in Russia, you're putting your job at risk, you're putting your family at risk, and you're putting your friends at risk. And that is just all because the Russian government have decided that they will have laws that which although are uh, not in the criminal code, that criminalise LGBT people that say that our relationships, that our very existence is a threat to Russia and Russian society. We don't think that's acceptable. So I'm going to get you get back to the comedy. But what I want to do is I want to send a message to our Russian LGBT friends and allies that Scotland supports them, that Scotland is standing with them, and that Scotland will not stand by and watch while they are tortured, beaten, murdered and victimised by the Russian state. So let's make as much noise as we can and let's get those people in this building to hear us. I don't think they've got double glazing thick enough <laughs> to not have heard that. Thank you very much, Scott. That was wonderful. Thank you for coming on. Please have a